Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Okay, like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, it is always loved and appreciated for sure, for sure. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of the highest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings. Okay, please give my wonderful and amazing Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, so this is the Archangel Michael message. Okay, how you doing? I'm good. Okay, I hope that you're having a lovely day. So, um, the first thing I got is like this arrow. I drew an arrow pointing to the left and it says service on it because I seen this. Okay. I feel like a lot of us are not really choosing like the left to, to me, like the left is like more of a negative choice, you know, like people always say that like somebody went left, you know, I feel like you don't really do that. <laughs> You know, I feel like you're really on top of your shit when it comes to like people taking you out of your character. OK, it says the ones that love us never really leave us and you can always find them in here in the heart. So, OK, so you work from your heart energies most of the time. OK, uh, somebody could have played sports before, you know, or you really like playing sports i don't know i finished all of my coffee and i was thinking about how <laughs> i'll be um i've been doing my supplements like consistently like i've really been keeping up like with my spiritual work and my spiritual schedule you know and just the things that spirit wants me to do throughout the day and so when i finished my coffee with the with the mushroom powder in it i was like yeah okay i was like let's go <laughs> let's go okay and i was like okay somebody clearly plays sports because i was really like I was really pumping myself up, okay? So you could be someone who, who gets excited and says, let's go. Okay, so um, I wrote one pass technology, okay? So you, my dear, when you go through something, you know, whether it's like, you know, you could be someone who's been through a lot of like identity crisis type of energy, you know, someone who had quite a few fears that you needed to battle, you know, but Archangel Michael is saying like, once you pass that lesson, you're the type that you don't have to go back and redo lessons. You're not someone who repeats, okay? So next I wrote clean view, okay? You're someone with a very clean view. When I think about clean, okay, I think about healthiness, okay? So um, you have a very healthy view on life, okay? Because you understand that there is negative and there is positive aspects of life, you know? So you're very good at seeing both of them, you know. So the overall energy says in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Fred and George, George Weasley challenged the regime of the tyrannical Professor Umbridge by unleashing a barrage of fireworks in the middle of the fifth year's OWL exams before making an impressive exit on brooms, you know. This card always gives me, like, the energy of sabotage, you know. I feel like anyone that is trying to come and, like, play tricks or sabotage you in any way, you know, like, nobody can interrupt you collecting all of this wisdom i feel like at the same time though though there's this energy of sabotage because you know they go and do the fireworks in the middle of the exams i feel like you're kind of the fireworks you know i feel like um you like go in and just break up it's like you're someone who like fights against i'm hearing like oppression okay like you fight against things that are considered to be like the norm or not that you fight against it, but you're just very rebellious. You just do whatever it is that you want, but it's because your view of this life, of this world, of this reality is so clear that you kind of understand that you could do whatever the fuck you want, you know, but you don't just go do anything. You know, you're not crazy with it. You're still like, you got some sense. You, you want your life to go the way you want it to go, but because you have such a clear 
view on things. You're not afraid to break the rules or do something different or out of the ordinary. Okay. It says, do you think a public spectacle like this can be an effective way to protest a bad situation? Would you participate in something like this or would you prefer to make a quiet exit? And I just feel like you're not the one that's going to take a quiet exit. You're going to be like, oh, what? We said in fireworks off in the, in the owl exam. Oh yeah. Let, let's do that. That's going to be funny. You know? So um, at the bottom of the deck, it says it is said that what least attracts us says as much about our identities as what most attract us. Students at Hogwarts identify strongly with their particular house, but they also often have a house that they strongly don't identify with. For example, students in Slytherin and Gryffindor are known to be rivals, you know? So I just feel like, like I was saying, whenever there is, you know, a rival around, you know, like you don't get confused about who you work for or where you're coming from. You really understand your connection with God and with spirit. And that is what is keeping you very protected at this time, you know, let's go. <laughs> okay, keep it going, like stay pumped up about this thing. So so next I wrote a multi-cyclonic, okay, um, which is giving me, you know, it means like multiple cycles or say, or something that goes, you know, that is multi-cyclonic. That is, it just goes through multiple cycles back to back to back. Okay. Of course we are multi-cyclonic, but Archangel Michael was saying like, but also we are positive and negative. So you can choose what type of cycles that you get stuck in or that you choose to participate in because you're never truly stuck in any type of cycle. But he's saying it's possible to get yourself to put yourself in multiple cycles that have the ability to benefit you, like, you know, um, being in a cycle of self-love or being in a cycle of, you know, making sure you're healthy. Cause I was saying, like, I've been staying on top of, you know, like whatever vitamins, supplements, whatever spirit guides me to eat, you know, I really been on that. And so, you know, I've been doing yoga, I've been meditating, you know, whenever they tell me like, I've really been on my shit. Okay. And so, um, they're just saying like, you are meant to do things and cycles this is the way that you kind of work you know so but there is a such thing as a positive cycle and a negative cycle you know and then I wrote an easy assembly you know I feel like your assembly like getting you to like remembering you know reattaching all of these pieces and all of these energies to you has not been an easy thing but once you have now that you have been assembled or you have assembled your foundation now it's easier for you to get to a place where you feel fully assembled because i wrote fully assembled next you know it's once you get it going once you get the ball rolling or angel michael is saying you know you just go up and up and up okay there's of course there's no such thing as being like fully assembled there's always more for your your soul to learn and sometimes like um i know i know it as like you can learn a certain set of lessons in one lifetime and then learn the same set of lessons in another lifetime and learn completely different parts of that lesson or different layers of a lesson. There is a such thing as like going through the same lesson, but receiving a different result or a different um like packet of knowledge is what he's saying. Okay. So, um, of course you'll never be fully assembled, but you are able to feel fully assembled or feel wholeness or feel that energy of being complete or, you know, be in that golden energy. Okay. So, um, then we got, uh, a song quote. Okay. It said, he said, give me a chance to shine and I'm a blind the world. I'm a stand and be the voice of those who cannot be heard. Okay. So that can mean multiple things. You could be someone who speaks for others, others who really don't have a voice, or you could be someone who speaks for spirit. You know, you could be someone who speaks for the past on loved ones of others. You could be someone who speaks for the inner child of others. There's so many different ways that you can be the voice of those who cannot be heard. Okay. So the song saying two of hearts, two hearts that beat as one. It's like your heart beats to the same rhythm that the heart of the divine beats to, you know? So of course, 
you're always going to be someone who be, who is the voice for those who cannot be heard in some sort of way. Even if you're just someone who stands up and tells your story, you never know how many people experience your story too. So therefore you are now a voice for those voices that were not heard that went through this same situation. And it gives them relief that someone else went through that, even if no one else around them that they actually know knows that they've been through that. OK, Whew. that's the channel messages. OK, so what else? Archangel Michael. But yeah, I feel like you could be very focused just on building your wisdom at this time, you know, knowing exactly when to like be a troublemaker or be a rebel or enjoy your life and have a lot of fun, you know, and when to make that nice, quiet, smooth exit that you need to make, you know. I've seen hope jar. I feel like you're very hopeful at this time. I'm hearing that song, Hopeful. Well, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. I feel like you're taking that music, that beat of the universe, you know, that heart, that song that's beating in your heart that syncs up with the universe and you're just playing it loudly for everyone to hear. Okay. We got build a fairy house and it says, um, there is magic everywhere. So I feel like you're very aware of the magic that is everywhere at this time. Did I say you could be a life path number nine? You could be a life path number nine or seven. Okay. I feel like you're really aware of the magic that is surrounding you at this time. Look at this candle magic. Okay. You could be someone who who does candle magic or you would be very good at candle magic okay um it says everyday things get better though you don't even have to do magic at all but i just feel like you could be feeling like you do magic out here okay <laughs> you could be feeling like you know you're doing some sort of magic the way that things are just moving and like going into place for you at this time okay um with this 22 energy you know giving me that energy like i said the energy of wholeness like your whole and your merging with the wholeness of the universe at this time and so every day it could seem like things are getting better and everything's so magical and everything's so wonderful and baby i can relate okay you also could be a life path number 222 or four okay what else like angel michael painting with magic okay <laughs> so it's like all magic on all of these parts you know like you're the one who's making all this magic happen. And it's so fabulous because you are so aware of it. Like you're making things happen magically in your life on purpose and you're doing it right. And with the right energies and with the right intentions behind it. Okay. You could be a life path number nine. Okay. Or 11. I already said nine. Okay. So nine is very significant. I seen 12, 12, you could be seeing 12, 12 everywhere. And then we got the shield of crystals at the bottom of the deck. Okay. It says I am loved and protected. And that's for sure. Cause you got to be loved and protected to be in all of this magical energy that you're in right now. You know, I feel like you have taken yourself, like I was saying with the multi-cyclonic thing, you're, you've taken yourself out of this cycle of negativity and placed yourself in a multi-cyclonic dimension of positive happenings and blessings okay <laughs> and this is outrageously awesome okay like this is dope i like this message okay we got the magician right here at the bottom of the deck okay look that's you babes you are the magician with the three of pentacles you are working very closely with the divine at this time you know how he was in that card by look they're in their in this car seemingly by themselves you know but they making all of these dope ass karate moves and really killing shit and handling everything because they know that they are working in tandem with the divine what is uh build a fairy house the sun okay <laughs> okay i heard Ra. okay so um, you're doing very well at this time, okay? Like you're really shining the light on who you are, really allowing yourself, the sun to like shine through you, that beautiful light energy of source, okay? With the eight of wands, so much loving energy is coming in to you from the universe, from the divine, you know, from source, uh, him or herself, you know? And then we got the high priestess and I feel like you're being rewarded with all of this, like I said, this clean view, this very clear and healthy vision on life and where it is that you wanna go and what you want to attract, okay? Archangel Michael saying, keep it right there, okay? 
and also, you know, there's a lot of colors here. So I feel like you're absolutely in alignment. Let me get another one for Candle Magic. Okay, the moon. Okay, you are really truly following your gut. Okay, the sun and the moon came out and the high priestess. Like, <laughs> that's fire. Okay, <laughs> you are love. And then there's the eagle on this eight of wands card, you know, like you see from the perspective of the divine at this point, you know, don't doubt yourself please, <laughs> because you're doing amazing work with spirit at this time. You know, Archangel Michael really wants to really amp you up and, and give you some props, like, because you're doing the thing. Okay. What's painting with magic justice. Okay. You're realizing what justice really truly does look like, you know, justice looks like happiness and joy that just boils up from you from the inside of you. You know what I'm saying? And everything's great and everything's lovely and the sky is bright and everything's so colorful and everything is great because God is walking every single place with me and everything that I need is covered. It's like imaginary roses just being thrown in your path as you walk down the street. OK. But they're not imaginary. They spiritual roses, okay? <laughs> was painting with magic, the chariot, okay? Nothing but great positive forward movement being ushered in by Archangel Michael and your spirit team at this time. This is great news. <laughs> I'm always happy to deliver the great happy news, okay? What is the sun and the eight of wands? The magician, okay? You have made this happen with all of your positive intentions and all of the ways that you use your magic wisely, all of the things that you have taken time out to learn, not only about you, but about the way the universe works. And before this, I kept asking myself, like, you know, just, I was just thinking about so many different things, you know, the spirit was bringing, like dropping so many dope ass downloads to me, you know? And I was just like, hmm, I was like, that's interesting spirit, you know? Yeah, let's learn more about that, you know? It was like they were showing me, you know, it was like looking through a, a catalog, you know, of the things that they were just bringing up. Like, what do we want to talk about next? What do we want to learn about next? You know, just having different things boil up in my head. And I was just like, mm, you know, I was kind of like picking, you know, so what's the eight of wands and the high priestess? I feel like you have a, a your whatever you want to know, everything is open to you with this 10 of cups, you know, like you are right now you have access to every secret and every little like hack or whatever however to get into anything there is no keeping you out okay with this page of cups i feel like your inner child is alive and well okay um coming up with these great big imaginings and things for you to do and steps for you to take you know you could be full of ideas very curious okay like me having all of these different things boiling up and you know really doing the research and learning about these different things you really follow your guidance what's the moon and justice the nine of swords okay i feel like um this is why i was saying you know don't question yourself because I feel like you're doing so great, you know, but I feel like sometimes you might get in your head a little bit, you know, like when it comes to making these decisions, you want to make sure that things are right for you, you know, and you might like really overwork your intuition <laughs> when it tells you the first time, you know, you, you probably ask and second guess and second guess and make sure, make sure, you know. But I actually promote that. I feel like Archangel Michael is saying that you might feel like that is something wrong or like that's not something that you should be doing. But it is OK to check with spirit three, four, five times sometimes to make sure that something is right for you, because a lot of times, you know, I'll have people sending really heavy magic at me trying to get me to make some sort of decision, you know, in the way that they want me to make the decision, you know, so I'll ask something and I'll get. I'll get the wrong answer. You know what I'm saying? But my intuition won't agree. Okay. Like if my pendulum gives me the wrong answer, my intuition be like, that was not the right answer, you know? And then I'll have to go back and reframe my words, you know, say a, a different kind of prayer before I use it in order to get the proper answer that goes in that place. You know, what's justice in the chariot or I'll cleanse my space and things like that to make sure that I'm getting the right answers from spirit. We got the page of swords, you know, you have to always look at things like it's something new, you know, I feel like this is what you have either adapted to, or you're about to start doing this, you know, 
But I mean, with all this magic out here, I feel like you have to be, this has to be about your renewed way of thinking this page of swords. This is not an immature type of energy, but also I feel like there's a lot of eyes on you. Okay. That is energy that comes with the page of swords. But I feel like these eyes are like blind eyes in a way. Of course you have, you wear the cloak of Metatron with all this magic out here. You are definitely starseed energy, you know. Can't think of a better way. That's all I got to say. Can't think of that okay. And I feel like you're kind of just really expressing yourself very clear. Like, <laughs> you're amazing. What's the magician in the Ten of Cups? Okay, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> you're amazing. Like I said, your cup is overflowing. Okay. Do you recall not long ago? I feel like not too long ago, you weren't, you weren't in this energy though, you know, like, your past does not look nothing like this future that you have stepped into, you know? And I feel like there's a real big need for you to like accept this, appreciate this. I feel like something big is coming in to where you're going to appreciate this more because I keep saying that, but he's giving me the feeling like that's not the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like there is no problem. <laughs> that's what I keep hearing. Like there is no problem. You really have no problems right now, okay? You don't have no issues. Maybe that could be the issue is that you think you have issues or like you have problems. There's some way that you need to tweak your mind a little bit. Like I said, looking at every single moment, every single thing that's coming in, like it is a new thing. This every moment coming in from now on, it's nothing you have experienced before. Even if you're doing the exact same thing you did yesterday, you still doing some new shit. That's how you need to like frame your mind around things right now. What's the 10 of cups and the page of cups, the queen of cups. I feel like this will emotionally free you in some sort of way. I feel like sometimes your day to day can cause a lot of stress for you and it can get in the way of your magic, you know, but Archangel Michael saying you've built this beautiful magical house and now you just need to control your emotions and use them like, you know, the alarm system that they are because that's really all your emotions are, you know. You have mastered them, so don't let them rule you. Like, really get it under control. What's the Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords? Because you need to be in a very positive frame of mind. We got the Page of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and that's what I'm saying. Sometimes your emotions are your biggest obstacle because you're not really reading your emotions quite right, you know? So you think that all this, that, <laughs> that even though you make magic happen so effortlessly every single day, you're still doubting it. Like it's not happening. You are so magical. Okay. Super. All these majors, this, the sun. Okay. The high priestess, the moon, justice, the chariot and the magician all out here. Plus the 10 of cups and the ace of cups. Like you're amazing. Okay. You might need to transmute your energy a lot more, okay? Because I was thinking about, like, cleansing your energy. And also, like, just tap in with Archangel Michael, okay? You need to do a meditation, yeah, with the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's something that, some energy that Archangel Michael wants to give you in meditation, okay? We got the Empress. Like, something that's going to make you sit more pretty, feel more comfortable, you know? What's the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Lovers, more of a loving balance type of energy that you need like something you need to download okay a download you need to receive or something some message that you need to know some truth what's the lovers the hierophant yeah something that they need to teach you there's some sort of illusion that they need to break for you some either either there's some some truth that archangel michael needs to show you or there's some option that you're just not seeing that you have earned with all of this mastery energy that you're on. Because that is another major arcana, you know. I don't want to take it to a negative place. I want to be as positive as possible because I really get a really super positive energy from this. So I'm not trying to like nitpick and find something that you're doing wrong, you know. But if there is something that's blocking you in this way... I want you to be able to pinpoint it and get it out of the way so that you can propel yourself forward. This is what Archangel Michael is saying. Okay, what is the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands in reverse? 
also with this ghost energy on the seven of cups i feel like with this king of wands okay there could be some aries leo sagittarius of your past you know that could have caused a lot of issues for you someone in their very masculine energies or a man okay you could be um a pisces a gemini okay you could be a leo yourself okay What's uh, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? The star, okay? So this is why I feel like whoever this King of Wands was, they were projecting a lot of anxious energies at you, you know? It's like they have... Okay, so this could be something that Archangel Michael has already told you, already some illusion he's already broken, some lesson that you have learned in the arena of love and self-love that's got you looking like the star. Because I was saying, like, this is really good. You know, I didn't understand, like, where did this energy come from? And I feel like that is how this energy could have hit you, too. Like everything could have been going so great, so well, and you knew you were in all of this magical energy, but then out of nowhere, the shit just slowed down and you're just like, I don't know what happened to all of my spiritual momentum, all of my progress I was making. I feel like Archangel Mike Michael came in and was like, that is the problem to all of the magical progress you were making. And you have made the necessary steps to remove that blockage. You know, like, I feel like Archangel Michael has helped you to clear the road. Okay. With this cherry energy catching my attention. What's the lovers and the king of wands? The knight of cups. Yeah. Archangel Michael has brought some love and strength to your situation. By clearing the path for you. And giving you the strength to move forward, you know. And to make it through whatever storm that you went through. Because I feel like, like I said, things were going really great. And then boom, you hit a storm. You hit a test. You hit a rough patch. You hit a lesson, you know. The song said, I'm jealous, I'm overzealous. When I'm high, I don't come down. I get angry, baby, believe me. I can love you just like that, and I can leave you just as fast, okay? What's the Knight of Cups and the Strength card? The Ten of Wands. I feel like somebody was bringing you a lot of burdens, a lot of issues, and now, you know, it's like a sunny day, you know, and he's a fox, okay? So I feel like you were very slick about the way you slid your way out of this, and now you're at this place where you're bundling up these burdens and you're going to go, you know, carry them to do whatever it is that you're going to do with them, you know. I'm hearing, what movie is that? It's, it's either a movie or a show, you know. And he'd be like, you know, get your shit together, you know. Like, I don't care what you do with it, <laughs> you know. And he just names all of a different, diff all the different ways that they could get their shit together and get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, it's like, I don't care what you do with it, you know. Wrap it up in a little paper, put it in a bag and just, you know, toss it in a dumpster, you know. Put it in the street, run it over, you know, I don't know. I don't care what you do with it. Just get it together. What's that ten of wands? The judgment. <laughs> so somebody's receiving judgment in a big way, you know. And I feel like the song said, you don't judge me. Because if you did, baby, I would judge you too. I feel like whoever this person was, you know, that was trying to hang you up. They didn't realize that, you know, being upside down and tossed around and put in a situation where you're forced to figure out how you're still going to harvest is kind of like your, your stomping grounds. Like that is where you function the best at when there's a problem, when there's issues, when there's pressure, when the pressure is on. Okay. And this is what I'm saying. Somebody plays sports when the pressure is on. Okay. And we got this many seconds, this many minutes left in the game that's when you get your fucking head in the game and you put all of your heart and your soul in the game so we can get this win and I feel like th they weren't expecting that kind of like tenacity that kind of like let's go okay oh oh, oh 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 we this is the tough part of the game all right I'm ready for that I'm pumped I got this and Archangel Michael was like yes you do got this here's a little extra love and strength because that person is finna be in judgment. Soon as you done letting them know who the fuck you are. <laughs> okay. So. Um, you're amazing. 
and this person's going through a tower because they were trying to stab you in the back, but you were smart enough to know that you didn't want to accept that offer. So now your ships are coming in with the three of wands and you're, you're continuing this magical path that you were on. Now that you released this issue of the past that you had going on, you're set for these 10 of pentacles, you know, and you probably weren't very sure about separating from this person or getting this person out of your life, but it was the best thing for you to possibly do to take that leap and step away from this conflict because it put a death to an energy that really needed to die in your life. And now you're back with the everyday, every moment is a new beginning. Ha ha ha. I'm so happy skipping through life type of energy. Okay. Oh, all right. Archangel Michael, what's the final thought on this? All right. It's impossible, impossible to love you. We got uh, Cassiopeia with pride, okay? I feel like you should be sitting pretty, feeling very proud of yourself, you know? And then we got creation at the bottom of the deck, you know, and also focusing on your creative energies and what you're putting out into the world at this time. Like it says, celebrate your achievements, but not by boasting. Humility is needed. An arrogant or boastful person around you may soon see consequences from their hubris. Shame is a complex emotion. And is there... For a reason, okay? So shame is a complex emotion and it's there for a reason, just like anger, but we should never hold on to shame for long. A healthy amount of pride is good. You should love who you are and what you can achieve. Do not compare yourself to others, okay? It says Cassiopeia was the queen of Ethiopia. Ethiopia, I think it says. And it says, um, wife of Cepheus. She had a daughter, Andromeda, who was a great beauty. The Nereids were the sea nymph daughters of Nereus and Doris. They were deity of great beauty and represented all aspects of the ocean's richness and bounty. They protected those who made their living on the sea, sailors and fishermen, and were often seen assisting those who had been caught in storms or shipwrecked, okay? It says Cassiopeia began to boast that her daughter was more beautiful than all the Nereids. This, of course, was disrespectful and it caught the ear of the sea god Poseidon and the Nereids themselves. While no longer begrudged that Cassiopeia was proud of her daughter's beauty, what was wrong was the way she boasted about it. This lack of humility resulted in a terrible act of retribution by the sea deities, with Andromeda ready to be sacrificed by the sea monster Cetus. You should feel some pride in a job well done, a challenge overcome, or a big achievement. In fact, some folks find it hard to mark their success in some positive way. However, it's the way you express your success that matters. You don't need to compare your achievements to others, even in sports. <laughs> Sticking to your own game plan is often key to triumph. I love that kind of confirmation, okay? It says, instead of a boast, instead of plastering on social media, how much better you or your children are, perhaps a more elegant and meaningful way to do it respectfully is with no comparisons or to simply have a private celebration. One of the biggest compliments given today is that someone is accomplished yet humble. The Roman and Greeks were warned against hubris and boasting and the consequences featured in many myths, okay? So we all, they like, you You know what happened to the last security guard? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay? Okay. That's from Friday when they got hired, for those of you who don't know, okay? In Friday after next, okay, Craig and Day Day get hired as security guards. And everybody keeps saying to them, you don't know what happened to the last security guards, you know? Like, you know what happened to the last security guards. And they like, what the fuck happened to the last security guards? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like people come into your energy, you know, and just because they don't know about all of the, you know, demons or lower vibrational energies that you have, managed to overcome 
they feel like you look like an easy mark or they can get you, you know, they're stuck in a place of pride. They feel like they can, you know, cause any storm or wreck any ship. And then they run into you and you're like the iceberg to the little Titanic, you know, you just completely take all of this shit down. Okay. So, you know, spirit saying like, these are people who are very boastful, you know, people who feel like they got to tell everybody and explain to everybody, you know, how they the shit and how they did this and how they did that. But really, it is your humility that has that is causing all of this. And my bad not to say like, but really, you know, but it's like because you're humble, because you're not on that shit, you know, on that braggy, braggy, braggy type of energy, this is what is catapulting you forward. And this is what makes it so easy to weed out who's meant to be in your life and who's not meant to be in your life. You could really, um, I heard like have a disdain for people who, who do that, you know, who have a big head. I feel like you don't have a big head. You're very wise. And like I said, you know when to make a lot of noise and when to just move quietly toward the exit and get just back out of the situation completely. So keep trusting your intuition and keep moving the way that you're moving and just know that Archangel Michael got your back. And yes, you are creating all the magic you intend to create. And with that, I'm done. Okay, I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later. Bye.